Guys, I'd like to start off with some good news. I graduated college! Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah! Uh, about four and a half years ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just still really excited about it because it took me so long. I remember it was the last class I had to take to finally graduate. And on the first day of class, everyone has to get up and they say their name and their year. And this girl gets up and she's like, Hey, I'm Kelsey. This is my fifth year. So I'm a super senior. <laughs> and then it's my turn and I get up and I'm like, hi, I'm Natasha. This is my seventh year. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ah, oh, it's just true. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's not very fair because people are very impressed that Jesus turned water into wine, but neither of my parents are impressed that I can turn an entire bottle of wine into an abortion. <laughs> I had to do it, Alabama. I had to do it. I'm sorry. We got, th <laughs> we got through it. <laughs> Killing it! The joke, not the both. Um, all right, I'm done with that, I promise. I'm actually, I'm in a relationship now, thank you. And uh, thanks. My boyfriend and I just took the next step and we moved in together. And I feel very special because he's five years younger than I am. So it's his first time living with a significant other. And it's my first time lying about how many men I've lived with. So. <laughs> but it's been refreshing because the last guy I lived with, whenever he would get a little tipsy, he would mispronounce my name. Yeah, and it's bad to have to correct your own boyfriend like, hey, hey, remember? Uh, it's actually pronounced Natasha with a short A, not Kyle. Yeah, yeah, dated some winners. Um, no, but the one thing I don't like whenever a relationship starts to get serious, I'll introduce the guy to my very close friends. And my friends always say the same thing when they meet a guy I'm dating. And they're like, oh my God, like you have a type. Like you have such a type. I'm like, oh, that is cute. What is my type? <laughs> Is it men who leave me? <laughs> this is the ninth boyfriend you met, Madeline. I think we know you saw my status on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> but actually, the thing is, I already know my type, okay? My type is men who gain 30 pounds like two weeks into dating me. Uh, <laughs> anyone else making the men too comfortable too quick? Uh, <laughs> anyone else dating the alcoholics? Okay. I've lost all the men in the crowd on that. <laughs> I felt it. I'll try, I'll try to get you back, because it's not always a bad thing, uh, fellas, uh, the rapid weight gain. Because ladies, I have to ask, um, has a man ever given you an orgasm? <laughs> well, that. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm losing the men again, okay. <laughs> I was trying to get you back, okay. <laughs> But has a man ever given you an orgasm, like, via uh, penis in vagina sex, simply because your man's recently developed beer gut? Is <laughs> it's just rubbing on the parts that count? Anyone? Anyone? It's a move! It's a move! <laughs> Little Tom Tom on the click clit. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what we call that. For those of you who are got quiet, I know you're just thinking, all right? You're like, this was a sex tool the whole time? I have no idea I could use it in the bedroom. You can. 
I'm just spreading the gospel tonight, guys. This is, I don't know what that one. <laughs> I think I'm okay with finding weird moves like that uh, because I started masturbating when I was six. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it gets weirder. Um, because my parents didn't believe in censoring me or my sister when we were growing up. Uh, and by that, I mean, they were never around. So, <laughs> so we got to watch any rating of any movie. It did not matter. So my sister and I were watching this R-rated movie called Waiting to Exhale. Has anyone seen this? Yeah. Two of you. Thank you for being here tonight. I'm glad you're in the front. <laughs> uh, so we're watching this and there's a sex scene. And I'm watching this as a first grader, and I was like, whoa, they look like they're having a lot of fun. So I go upstairs, and finally I find a very sexy uh, <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> so I find Potato Head, and I try to imitate the people in the movie. And at first I tried being the woman, and she was a bottom, so I just kind of plop Potato Head right there, and nothing happened. I'm so sorry for this imagery. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. So then I had to be the man. Okay, the imagery got worse, didn't it? Whatever. Uh, I had to be the man, and I put Potato Head down. It was just, you know how it works. And suddenly I got this feeling, and I was like, whoa, that felt really good, but it also feels like I probably shouldn't tell my mom about it. <laughs> Even then... And so, and I, I, there's a part two to this, and I'm going to end on that. But before I move on, I do uh, recommend the potato head <laughs> as, as kind of like a starter kit. Because uh, you can put his mouth anywhere. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> uh, but it does make Toy Story a very different kind of film for me. <laughs> I haven't seen Toy Story 4 yet because I'm like, what will it do to my body? <laughs> Those seats are going to be wet. I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> anyway, so part two, I'm now in sixth grade. Okay, I'm a woman. And in, si <laughs> and in sixth grade, I was at a sleepover at my friend Corey Shaver's house. And at a sixth grade sleepover, every girl goes around and tells a secret, right? So we get to Corey, whose house we're at, and she was like, well, my secret is sometimes I have seizures. And I was like, a seizure? What is that? I've never heard that word before in my life. She was like, well, it's really hard to explain, and I've never really gotten to talk to anybody about it, but it's like suddenly my body feels very different and nothing like it's felt like before, and next thing I know, I'm on the ground, and I've come back too. And I was like, oh my God. I have seizures too. <laughs> but there when it went on. But there when I take a plastic potato and I and I put it in my pants and she and she went what? And I went what? And I was never invited back to Corey's house ever again. Uh, you guys have been great. Thank you so much. I've been Natasha Ferrier.